Hello, my name is Jürgen Grauer and uh, my background is in glass. I have been uh, trained in Germany in commercial glass and I've been working in the glass industry for about 20 years. I've been here at Magma Art Glass for about seven years. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, build a leaded glass window with uh, lead cane. Um, this material is 100% lead, so if you work with this, it's probably a good idea to wear gloves. Don't, uh, don't eat or drink or smoke while you do this um, because it contains lead. Um, now, my material I have is a, is a lead extrusion and it's very soft and flexible. Um, the lead comes in different widths, in different shapes. Here's the, here's the difference. You see this is a 1 8 goes all the way up to 1 inch. Most commonly used, what I'm using today, is a quarter inch lead. Um, so the lead is basically the backbone and the structure of my panel here. I'm uh, basically putting the pieces of lead in between the glass. I use this, these lead dikes or lead uh, cutters to cut the lead like this. Um, I've already prepared um, my beginning. We always start in one corner when we start building. And uh, I use little wood strips and nails. I hammer these down so they're nice and tight in here. I check them also with a level to make sure we're nice and straight here. After I do that, I nail everything in completely and then I start building from the corner. I've already started a little bit here um, and basically it's a sequence uh, of different steps. Uh, this is the corner I'm working on right here. Um, and you know, when you make yourself a pattern, you can blow it up to a specific size. Like I say, this is about an eighth inch scale. Um, so basically, my next step here, I already started on the corner here. One of my next steps will be to put um, some more lead in here. So I measure my piece and I use a lead knife to mark where I'm going to cut. And then I'll take my pliers and I'll do that cutting. And I have to be really careful when I do my angles here. Then I lay it back in here. I also, I use these little nails and uh, stop pieces, little scrap pieces of lead to hold my project in place so it doesn't wiggle around. That's very important. But when I, when I add the next piece of lead in, I have to remove one of them so I can put that in here. And then I have to mark the length. The better you build and, and the better, the, the firmer it is, the easier it is to solder and the solder will not flow in between here. After I'm done with cutting one piece, I have to put my stop back in and nail it in temporarily until I do the next, the next piece. So this is the principle of how you build a stained glass panel.